Yeah, I, I just want to mention something that Frank did not mention, is that I actually got the Sierra Club's endorsement myself this week. I'm very uh, grateful for that. Uh, I just wanted to say a, a, a couple of things about myself. I don't want to make a big speech, because we'll have opportunities to actually ask questions and interact with them here. Louder. Louder. Oh, I know. I'm terrible with microphones. Thank you. That's OK. I just wanted to say a little bit about myself, because I think a lot of people in this room may not know me as well as I'd like them to. Um, so I want to say uh, one or two things about that. I grew up in Western Pennsylvania, uh, went, was educated in public schools, uh, was very fortunate to be able to go to Cornell University and get my undergraduate degree in philosophy and psychology, and then uh, graduate degrees in law and business administration, with an emphasis on public administration, which actually might be relevant in this current context. But I moved to Moran in 1986, and I've lived here for the last 30 years. I love this county. I've raised my kids here. Uh, I've educated them also when we're in county public schools. I am very concerned about the direction in this, with which this county is taking itself. Uh, we are succumbing to regional pressures, pressures for development and growth that have absolutely nothing to do with the environmental character of our community. That's why I got into this campaign. That's why I want to sustain this campaign. That's why I want to be your next supervisor for District 2 in Marine County. We have a pressing need to readjust how we approach housing and community development in Marine County. Uh, we have had uh, influences from outside this community, regional influences, that have pressed us to take actions towards high density development that are inappropriate for the character of Marine County. Uh, and we've had that built into our Marine County housing element which has been a real challenge. Uh, in Larkspur, we've tried, I've tried at least, to promote uh, alternative, innovative issues, innovative strategies to address exactly that issue through junior second units, through infill development. We have an opportunity to address that challenge in that capacity, and that's the way I would do it. Thank you. Our front page story for the IJ was basically a supervisor race, or ICE abandoning Lefty Gomez, which is appropriate. Um, I've been to all of these meetings, and I've actually seen the discussion about the detention basins. The detention basins are a bad idea. They are basically oriented towards reconstructing recreational values, not to enhance flood control within our community. We need to be able to, we need to develop, which I am in the process of doing, uh, creative solutions to take water out of the system and to the extent that water cannot be in the system, cannot be taken out of the system, to move it out. The process that we've been engaging in through the flood control program has been a disaster. Uh, the Corps of Engineers program has been inappropriate, and I am absolutely opposed to the way in which this process has right. been conducted. Uh, I have to answer that question from my perspective as a current city council member in the city of Larksburg, uh, and currently the vice mayor. Uh, we've gone through a process within Larkspur to reevaluate our housing element, and I'm actually grateful to see some city council members from Larkspur here in the room tonight. Uh, appreciate that support. Uh, we are working on, I think, uh, innovative strategies, as I just mentioned, to really focus on the reconfiguration of our housing element in a way that takes us into the 21st century and that respects the communities that actually exist within our jurisdictions. Uh, I think that's, I have to actually agree with Frank, it's, a, it's really important for us to take advantage of the opportunities that we have as local municipalities to focus on the authorities that we have to make sure that our communities are well, are well respected in that context. You know, uh, it's, it's been, uh, rent controls have been an issue that has come up uh, repeatedly for me as I've walked around the neighborhoods in the city of Larksburg. Uh, we have uh, probably as much, if not more, within the city of uh, uh, our neighbors who are in uh, rented apartments. Um, I have always been concerned about rent control as an economic concept, <coughs> but I think it's important for us to remain open to that um, as a strategy that could be built into a range of strategies that would help support uh, the folks that live in our neighborhood. But I actually think it's much, it's much more important for us to be focused on uh, strategies that will build housing that are affordable, that is affordable, 
for people who want to live in our community, who support the people who live in our community already. Um, so I think a range of strategies is what we need to do, and that's what I support. I'm very proud of the fact that I received the Sierra Club's endorsement for the very first time in this election. And I have to say that I reflected on that over the last day or so, and I appreciate the acknowledgement that uh, Mr. Egger has gotten for all of the work that he has done over many, many years to support the environment in Marin County and throughout the state of California. But I, I view the endorsement that I received from the Sierra Club this week as forward-looking, as an endorsement of myself to take the values that I have as an environmental lawyer for many, many years and move forward to protect the environment of this most beautiful county in the country and protect it, to preserve it, and to promote it as the innovative, assertive place that it really is. I'm so proud to be here tonight, and I really appreciate the opportunity for you to listen. Thank you. Thank you.